today we have stepped foot off this giant ferry onto the island of Corsica. That pig, Corsica is known for salami, from this pig. So we're looking for that pig in the wild and lots of salami charcuterie goods. And that is Corsica. That's what we came in on. That giant ship over there. Look at this old, dying Arcang city. We're gonna eat. We're gonna find that black pig. We are gonna figure out what's going on with the food of Corsica. I know very little. I know that a lot of things come from the island. I know it's part of France, but it's its own thing entirely. I know that there's some old sections of Bastia here. I know there's a train that runs through the middle. And I know there's some secrets out there, so let's find them. We got the lighthouse down there with some pesky Corsican teenagers. Look at this beauty. Inner Harbor. And up into the mountains. Corsica has huge high mountains. It's a trekking heaven. Still getting our bearings, we're gonna figure this out. The boys playing soccer. Look at this beach, miles and miles of beach. And up into the hills beyond. Here's the boss of Corsica, cruising the streets, making sure everything's in line. Little local beach action, look at the lifeguards there, just chilling. All these people coming down in the surrounding residential area of Bastia, which is sort of the main city down at the beach. Here's Bastion in the distance. Not a bad little Sunday. What a job that lifeguard job is. Looking after about 50 people. The St. John looks like a seaworthy vessel. Linner Harbor. Buckets of charcuterie. Mortadella. Wow. <laughs> Mortadella. We're at a random food festival here. Let's see what we got. Some Italian cheeses. Let's find a Corsica product. What do you call this? Mach Michu? Miachui. From Corsica. Yes. Okay. Wow. It's like a pancake. Here's some local stuff, look at that. Local artichokes, local pickled mushrooms. Local garlic skates, maybe asparagus. Wow, that is beautiful stuff. Gotta love an old French hotel. It's a two star, look at that thing. Grand Dame. The unofficial French breakfast, maybe a bit of quiche. Chunk of baguette. All you need. Okay, we were on the train in Corsica. Who knew a train right through the middle of the island? Look at this beauty. So it cuts to over on the other side of the island through the mountains. It's about three hours from stop to stop, but it covers some pretty wild terrain, as you can see. Here's all the stops it makes. So it makes a ton of stops, but it moves really slowly. We're right now we're cutting through uh, a bit of a valley. We've got a couple of easy seats here. Kind of fold down. Kind of feels a little bit like a New York subway. Of course, it has swirling weather, so it's like sunny. And then up in the mountains, it can get cloudy real quick. That's where we're heading. Up into the mountains. Go find some good mountain cheese and charcuterie. What course is known for? Look at these old little 
train stations. Cooking Corsica style, we got fromage artisanal de Berbi. The Corsica oh, cheese. Yeah. This looks good. Got a little apple here. Let's take a little one-handed knife cut. Throw it in that baguette. We're gonna make a nice little Santa. Let's try it first bite. Yep. This is legitimately the best saucisson I've yeah. had. You know, the salami. It's so gamey and peppery. Fatty. Chunks of fat. Look at those white chunks of fat. Here's our nice pad we're staying at. Small town Corsica in the mountains. Should have stayed there, a $30 room. That person really went all in on the price. Putting it on their old side there. Probably have to pay 30 euro. Keep charging 30 euro for 20 years. Look at that valley. We got ourselves a big view. Raging river down there. Wow, <laughs> great train ride coming up here. All these old little streets. Corsicans walking through them for decades. This is a medieval archway. Look at this little town of over 12 people. Wood burning ovens. Lovely little place. High up in the mountains of Corsica. Probably an Airbnb. Down here. That's a view. Look at this old, like maybe an old flour or grain mill. Right on the river. I don't think I've ever been in such an old mountain French village. Streets and alleys. Look at these rural Corsican dogs living the life out here. Just chilling, taking in this vista. Life is good out here. It's just uh, good lamb, good cheese, incredible salami, amazing wine. It's a great wine region. And really not a lot of people surprised by that. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, folks. Look at this beauty. Look at that beauty. Bet you that makes a damn good egg. Or cocoa though. That lamb was lean and delicious. Look at this beautiful scene out here. Probably can't see, but very dark and beautiful, mysterious night of Corsica. The lamb grazes on all, I think it's called mati, which is like the shrub of the island, covers 70% of the island, and they graze on wild herbs and the shrubs, so the lamb here is very special. It's very free range. And you could taste that in that dish. Like these dogs are free range. This guy might attack me. Hearing a lot of bees in the foothills. Look at these. Wildflower. Just trekking around Corsica looking for lunch. Welcome to the beautiful inland town of Corti. Setting up for a wedding or something there. Look at this little hilltop, it looks like Disneyland. First order of business, this wild herb, onion, hand pie thing, Corsica hand pie.
This is like wild mint. Wow. These are wild herbs. I've never tasted them. Menthol-y. Looks like a beauty. What do they got? Little local beer. 51 cassis. Bet she gets wild in there. Chestnut tart. Mm. Is that meant to be there? <laughs> this leaf? Whoa. There's the strip. Who's this? I know Napoleon was born in this town, but this is O General Pascal Pauli. Obviously did something right. He has a statue in the main square. Look at this beautiful old buildings. You don't see this in Paris again. I always say this. This is like a true little French village in the heart of Corsica. Look at this proper wine cave. This figatello is a famous pork blood sausage that I tasted. Very strong. It's made with uh, pork, I think, blood and liver. A great spot. Tucked away. Look at this. You got the bar. The hanging Lonzo, the meat slicer. That's a proper wine bar. The true Corsica charcuterie knives, 160 euro wood handle. That's the real thing. For cutting your salami up. The king of the hill up there. The old beauty. Hotel Dunard. So Lonzo. Lonzo. And this is saucisson? Oui. And this one here is what? What is this called? This one is like jamon bayon? Uh, no, bourragne, <laughs> la chou. Bourragne, or uh, like a... Uh, la chou. Juan Cali. No. Okay, jao, jao. The face. That's the bundle. Figadero. Figadero. Okay. Très, très bon. I love it. Merci. Wow. Merci beaucoup. Let's go for a cheese hunt. There's the tone. The Saviani. The Brebes. All local. Brebes. Pecorino. That's probably a sharp sheep. Chestnut spread, very cool. Bee pollen, capra. Look at this. More charcuterie. You can't see anything. Not a single person. Looks like jungles of South America. Okay, here we are in a dark alleyway. I'll show you what I got. You saw me buy it at this butcher. The figadelu. I think it's figadelu. It's like a blood sausagey type pork thing. Very famous in Corsica. That is real. Charcuterie. Look at that. Real Corsica charcuterie in a cave somewhere in the rain. I feel like a Corsican. It is so delicious. It tastes unlike any other little bite of baguette. <coughs> it tastes like any other salami. Or it tastes like no other salami I've ever had. It's like naturally cured, so no nitrates just hung in the wind of Corsica. Huge flavor. They use liver and innards and all that, but it's big time flavor. Probably the best single piece of salami I may have ever had. So there you go, folks. Figadelu, beauty.